MWO's free mech for the month of June is going to be the Mad Dog Alpha. Hi friends, I'm TTB. Let's talk about how you get your free mech and mech bay in the month of June. Let's head on over to the event page and let's have a look on how you can get this beautiful Mad Dog. Now, Mad Dog's really nice in general for more like close range fighting, but you can also do some learn builds on it, but they're really, really nice, for example, with SRM6 with Artemis. Really strong mechs. Now, the event runs another 29 days from now. Let's go over the parts of the event really quick. Dog days, one victory gets you seven days of premium time. It's a classic now. It's really nice for people that don't have premium time. Bad dog, of course, all these are puns on the dog, right? On the mad dog. So dog days, then bad dog. A thousand match score gets you 25 GSP. That's really nice. 2000 accumulated match score gets you another 50 GSP on top of that. 3000 match score gets you the word crusader. And what is that? A million C bills on top. Hot Dog, 4,000 match score, gets you the Clan Smoke Jaguar decal and another 1 million C bills. A Dog's Life, 5,000 match score, gets you the color Smoke Jaguar Gray. In the Dog House, 6,000 accumulated match score, gets you the color Smoke Jaguar Black. Give a Dog a Bone, 7,000 accumulated match score, gets you the color Smoke Jaguar Red. So you get gray, black, and red this month. Really nice, all sorted colors. Running with the big dogs at 8,000 match score, there is your free mech bay and your mad dog alpha. Working like a dog for 9,000 match score, you get a bolt on the, uh, the flag for smoke jaguars on the mad dog. And who let the dogs out? Who? Who? 1,000 match score times 10 is equals 10,000 match score in total gets you the crusader pattern for the mad dog. Beautiful. So now you guys know what to do. In, this, in essence, just play the game, 8,000 match score over the time period of 29 days is easy peasy to achieve. There is a free mech, and of course, if you get to like 10,000, you can also get that Crusader pattern. Now that we have that, let's jump into Mech Warrior Online and talk about a couple of builds that are available for this Mad Dog. All right, here we are with our brand new Mad Dog Alpha, freshly grabbed from uh, the conveyor belt in the factory. And this is how this mech actually ships. Let's have a look at the loadout screen. It ships with six SRM6, LB5 AC in the left arm, EIPPC in the right arm, four tons of ammo for the SRM6, two tons of ammo for the LB5s, and armor mm, a little bit stripped. The set of 8 bonus gives us 50%, uh, 15%, sorry, <laughs> 50 would be a little bit much, ballistic cooldown and 20% clan PPC velocity. It's not a, not a bad build. If I was to tweak this build in as-is condition, the only thing I would probably do is switch to Artemis, Missile Guidance, and just scrap the LB5, so you only have the EIPPC and your SRM6s. But we can do better builds with that, so let's try and make that happen, shall we? And... I mean, the ballistic cooldown and EIPPC velocity bonus is nice, but I would say let's not worry about the set bonus. Let's worry about effective builds, right? This is going to be a little bit more expensive. So as I said, if you just get this mech and you have no money whatsoever here, you can run it like this. Um, you could go ahead and just remove the LB5, I would say. Add a little bit more SRM ammo, maybe. Um, maybe maybe like two tons right here. And then add just, just double heat sinks. This is not going to cost you much but it's going to make this mech run a lot more cool. Um, we've got two tons left, and of course we would use those two tons to armor up the mech properly. Maybe even maybe even drop another ton of ammo. Uh, let's see. I generally run with two back armor. If you are feeling unsafe with two back armor, you can go it, get it up to like maybe five or so. I don't recommend going over five. It's just... That's what your teammates are for, guys. If you get shot in the back, then that's your positioning that you need work to work on. Um, you need the armor up front, because that way you can trade with enemies. Yeah, you could also just go ahead, um, have a... Can we have a lower arm actuator? I don't know if that actually helps shooting this uh, PPC right now. It might help. You only need one, I think. So this would, this would actually unlock the PPC, so you can actually not only have the arm move like uh, up top to down, you could also go left and right with that, I think, if you have that lower arm actuator in here. Okay, so... That would definitely work. Another option, let's go into like more, I want to say more powerful builds. Let's, let's talk about like a, like a pure brawler. So for a pure brawler, we already have the right torsos. I think those, those that left and, and right torso is really nice. And what we can do, and what we've done also in German engineering, is um, do a build that has a very mean punch. And that would be to go six ER small lasers on top of that. 
And yes, you can alpha strike. This is going to be really hot, but what you want to do is like left side, right side, and then the air smalls. Um, otherwise, it's going to get a little, bit, a little bit toasty. And we would go with Artemis for this, right? Let's go Artemis. We're doing this live this time so you guys can see like the thought process that goes into building these mechs. Um, so yeah, SM6 Artemis. There we go. Remove the ammo here. Maybe get the double heat sink in. Yeah, this would look this would look good ammo wise. We would have six tons of ammo. That's plenty. Um, the only issue that you might run into is that it can get very hot. So this build is uh, on the hot side for sure. Alternatives: If you just want something that just alpha strikes. You could just go ahead and use the different side torsos, maybe. Bravo side torso gets you 10 extra armor and 5% velocity. The alpha gets you just 10 extra armor. Let's have a look at the Bravo left torso. 10% missile cooldown, 5% missile heat gen, and extra 15 armor. The Revenant left torso, cooldown, velocity. The Prime, cooldown, spread, and velocity. Okay. So... Maybe you would use the prime left torso here and then the bravo right torso or the revenant right torso. Let's see. Cooldown spread velocity, armor, cooldown. Velocity. Yeah, you would do the, core, the bravo right torso and you would use the uh, left torso from the prime. And that way you could have three SM, uh, two SM6 here, one here. Or you go with the alpha right torso and then the prime left torso. Three here, one here. It's also possible. So this would be a very hard hitting kind of build. You can also do this with ER micros if you want to. With ER micros, you do have a little bit less heat and that's much more manageable. You can always add in the ER micros, they are basically heat neutral. And running ER micros here will also give us another ton or so. So we could go double heatsink here uh, and then get another half ton of ammo or so for SRMs. So and if you alpha strike this, this is an 86 alpha. Um, you can alpha strike it. I don't recommend it because you're going to go two SRM6 Artemis over the heat scale limit. What I would do is left side, right side, and then the lasers. Um, but if you have to, you can alpha strike this and hit really, really hard. So this is a really, really nice brawler. So here's another build that you can do with the Mad Dog Alpha You're using the Alpha right torso and the Alpha left torso. Just do three ATM-3s on each side torso, five ES small lasers in total, a tag in the right arm, active probe in the right torso, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half tons of ATM ammo, plus one here, so seven and a half tons ATM ammo. We've got an extra five double heat sinks, one on the left torso and two in each arm. And with this, you get an Alpha Strike Firepower of 61, but that is not calculating in the specific range bonus from the ATM-3s. So if you're shooting this at, what is that? 250 meters range or so, 245 or below, then you will do an extra, I believe, one damage each. Two damage each, three damage, three damage. So. That's an extra 9 plus an extra 18 damage. That would get you to 79 damage. This thing is deceptively powerful because it farms damage very quickly. Um, you just basically just lock on targets and you just shoot whenever. You just keep your ATMs going. We have a video on this build and it's, it's really not bad. And in case you want to go ahead and be a filthy lermer, I recommend you have a look at the prime right torso and left torso because each of them gets you 10% Missile cooldown, 2.5% spread, and 5% velocity, plus some extra armor. So it's actually worth it to just go LRM20 Artemis on each side torso here. Active probe in there. We've got five ES small lasers for point defense or close range defense. Tag laser, of course. Active probe already said that. Plus six and a half tons of LRM ammo and some double heat sinks to boot. So this mech should run fairly cool. You can just alpha strike your LRMs. You don't have to worry about that. So you basically just keep your tag on target. Alpha in the LRMs, and if something gets close to you or you get close enough to your target at about 220 meters, 240 meters, you start shooting the ER small lasers and get an extra 25 damage from this. So the ER smalls right here are going to be helpful to you for sure. Also, guys, we currently have another sale going on, the hot and heavy sale. 
all heavy mechs, 50% off the C-Build price and MC prices, 50% off the Crusader and Smoke Jaguar patterns for the MC price, and 50% off Smoke Jaguar covers, cockpit items, and decals. Now you guys are always asking which mechs should I buy. Well, I made a best hero mechs to buy video not too long ago. That video is still up to date, so go ahead and have a look at that. But if you want the short and sweet version of it, let us jump back into MechWarrior Online. And um, as you can see, there are a lot of mechs on sale right now. I'm only going to concern myself with the hero mechs right here. And I'm going to do a quick recommended buy. No explanations given. If you want the explanations, if you want the builds, go have a look at the best hero mechs to buy video. Archer Tempest, recommended. Catapult Jester, recommended. Ebon Jaguar, Esprit de Corps, recommended. Hellbringer Virago, recommended. Marauder Bounty Hunter 2, recommended. Orion Protector, recommended. Orion to see Skull, recommended. Quick Draw IV4, one of the best mechs in the game. 100% recommended. Roughneck Powerhouse, recommended Brawler. Sun Spider Ambush, recommended. Vanguard, uh, recommended. Manul, recommended. Thunderbolt, Top Dog, recommended. And Warhammer, a Black Widow. Also highly recommended. But if you're looking for full explanations on why, to, uh, what, why these mechs are so good, then watch the full-length video that has all the hero mechs in there. This is your one-stop guide. You will not need any other. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you found it helpful, if you like it, if you want to support me in my content creation, hit the join button to become a YouTube channel member. Use super thanks in the comments if you would like to, or check out the various other options in the video description below. This has been TTB. Enjoy life, enjoy the game, I'll see you soon.